So we're going to look at this question, question two, question two, um, where the question two is on MFRS 15. Let us look at the question. Uh, quest the revenue recognition principle of MFRS 15, revenue from contract with customer, uh, is to recognize revenue to de depict the transfer of goods and services to customers. So this is the standard is uh, relating to in an amount that reflects the consideration the company receive or expect to receive in exchange for the goods and services. So meaning that if the uh, um, the reporting entity, the seller, deliver goods in return, the customer may have to also uh, transfer the the consideration uh, that have been promised. The objective of MFRS 15 revenue from contract with customer is to establish principle that an entity shall apply to report useful information to use as a financial statement about the nature, amount, timing, and uncertainty of revenue and cash flow arising from an entity contract with customer. Okay, look at the requirement number A. Define customer. So this is just a definition that you are asked to uh, give in accordance with MFRS 15 revenue from contract with customer. So if you see this is a direct question where you can get the answer uh, from your uh, notes or from the textbook where um, the answer would be given in the um, MFRS 15 customer is the party that has contracted so this is the keyword that has contracted contracted with an entity to to do what to obtain goods they are they are contracted to obtain goods and services that are an output of an entity's ordinary activities so you are enter in, entering into a contract to get output of another entity and another entity there is the seller in exchange for consideration so you're not getting it uh, as just for free whatsoever but this is where you are going to deliver or you're going um, to transfer some consideration to the uh, reporting entity or the seller right let us look at the second one state the the five step so you are asked to state the five step revenue recognition model so this is an easy question because just to state you are not asked to explain right so to state to state remember the core power model where the first one is uh, that you need to to identify the contract with the customer second one it's about the performance obligation, so the PO obligation, COPA, so obligation. First one is contract, so C, this is O, the first letter of the word. And the third one is there should be a transaction price, and that transaction price is you need to determine the transaction price or the selling price of the Good. So we are looking this at the point of view of the seller, the reporting entity, the seller. Okay, the price. So that's the keyword there, the price. So I'm putting green there so that you can see better. The third one is done. Now we move on to the fourth one. The fourth one is about allocation of the transaction price. So um the allocation of the transaction price so it's a hopa so p a now we have the last one which is to recognize the revenue itself to recognize the revenue itself that one is the last step recognizing the revenue so meaning to say that you need to observe these five steps before you can recognize the revenue so you need to observe step one to step four maybe some of it might not be there but somehow you must observe the five step before you um, straight away recognize the revenue okay that is the five step model next one you have some uh, scenario based question on 1st of January 2019 1st of January 2019 Sejahtera enters into a contract to deliver 
that is the contract yeah that shows that there is a contract between sejahtera and the customer to deliver what to deliver 50 units of water filters maybe kuku yeah or maybe kowe we're not sure about that but that is the uh, water filter that you need to deliver and the price was 500 per unit yeah 500 and that the date that you enter into contract is first of january 2019 so we put a different color here and then um, you need to deliver the water filter to your customer on 31st of march 2019 and this is a non-cancellable contract so once you have signed the contract it cannot be cancelled non-cancellable contract and that requires the customer once they sign the contract they need to make their initial payment so customer need to make initial payment of five thousand even before the water filter is being delivered so make the payment when on 31st of january 2019 by 31st january 2019 even before the water filter is being delivered the customer has to make payment so when will the uh, the water filter be delivered after three months the first of march 2019 but the initial payment or the advance payment or the deposit must be made by 31st of january 2019 the customer however does not pay so the customer does not pay the consideration so what was agreed somehow still was not received up till 1st of march so first of march nothing was received so let me put a different color for each item here so that you easily detect okay that was i pick a different color easy for you to detect right and this one 31st of march let us just put green okay right so you are asked to prepare journal entries to show how sejahtera should recognize the revenue from this transaction meaning that not to just recognize the revenue but the process since the contract is being signed so this is what you are asked to do to record that into proper journal entry and that should be in accordance with MFRS 15 revenue from contract with customer. So I've already uh, put some summary of events that happened here in my table. This is um, done to explain better. So let us just reveal this for you before we go and discuss the answer. Okay, what happened on 1st of January 2019? 1st of January 2019, you sign a contract sign a contract right and then later you look at the calendar of events there and then the second one will be on uh, 1st of March uh, to 31st of January 2019 so on the date you sign the contract there is no journal entry involved yeah however on the date the payment is due you know I mean meaning that the date where you agreed to receive the payment from your customer on that date you cannot recognize your revenue however you can recognize a contract liability because the advance payment is supposed to be received however it is not been received and um, on that date what you will do is you are going to recognize contract liability and uh, that will be credited and the account that will be debited will be of course accounts receivable so because that is the agreed due date for the customer to pay or make initial payment for the promised consideration that was as agreed as per the non-cancellable contract so this is the the due date the due date for initial payment the due date so because of the due date 
uh, regardless you pay or not yeah your customer pay or not you can recognize your um, accounts receivable there meaning that it give rise to a financial asset as well as it give rise to a liability on that date you are said to has uh, to have an unconditional right to receive the, the uh, consideration from your customer why because this is a non cancelable contract the next one is uh, what happened when your customer pay later even after the due date after the due date you receive the payment somewhere on 1st of march so that was on 1st of march you receive the payment right and the consideration that you receive uh, from your customer was 5000 so that one you will see that we need to go and debit to our cash later and you will see what accounts will be credited not the contract liability but it will be credited to the uh, accounts receivable and the last one is if you deliver your goods so if you deliver the goods to the customer on the day the goods have reached the customer and you have fulfilled what you have promised uh, in your contract right so on that date on that date which is on 31st of 31st of March 2019 this is the date 31st of March so Jatra which is the reporting entity the seller will transfer the control to the customer how is the control being transferred or the ownership is being transferred by delivering the specified water filter you know, or the number of water filter that are required is uh, 50 units how much um, you will have to see that later uh, depending on what was agreed in the contract revenue will be recognized on 31st of March so for that this is the general entry I will reveal the general entry for you okay this is the first entry which is as I said to record the contract liability uh, when on 31st of January nothing to be recorded on 1st of January because that is the date the contract is being signed there is no entry to be recorded and the, this is the narration recognizing advance payment due or recognizing deposit recognizing initial payment that will do the second one is to record the receipt that you um, the cash receipt from your customer even though it was a little bit late right they are supposed to pay later uh, pay earlier 31st of January but it was paid on 1st of March so 1st of March so this is the date that you sign you are supposed to receive payment which is 31st of January and this is the date that you have to recognize your revenue so revenue will be recognized on 31st of March 31st of March so on 31st of March if you deliver the 50 units of water filter then that amount will now be recognized as a revenue earlier it was recognized as a liability or a deferred revenue but now it is a revenue because now the contract liabilities account is being closed and it is being transferred to the or being eliminated against the revenue account and that will appear in your software Okay, that's it for this question i'll see you and i will see you um just to let you know this is far 410 july 2020 with that i thank you for watching assalamualaikum warahmatullah and have a good day